am I? Okay. Hi. You are in a, another OCS game here. I think this is going to be my last dark side game of the month. And, uh, so we can do Hitko versus ISB. I don't think this is a match I've played yet. So, no Emperor, do have Venom. Might as well just use this now, I'll get Thrawn. Active four. I can't play Vane. I think that's hopefully I had not activated the Merc for a dark day. I'm pretty sure I hold on to the end order here. Both most of our sites are in hand, that's good. Was Fondor. There's three emperors. I think there's four in the deck. Pretty sure I want to draw for that. Get some activation quickly here. Seems like it would be pretty good to go hard for. Oops. I didn't want that docking bay. I wanted the other one. Here it is. Play on a for this. Now we draw some. I think I'll activate last. Okay, good. Emperor, something I want to see. Um, I'll keep on drawing. Okay, that seems like it could actually be good for here. I draw this last one. Let's save the last one. Get the grabber. Spaceport talking about I guess goes to Fondor probably. Maybe it should go to Mustafar in case he goes here. Hmm. Not actually sure. Have I played against Hiko already? I feel like maybe I have. Not positive. Here, ideally, I can pull a core or something. I can do the more. This is the card to grab. Relocating prophecy. I'm gonna see if I get burned for grabbing this. I know this is definitely the interrupt that they'll play the most of. And it seems like continuously relocating prophecy is something that could potentially be bad for me. Yeah. 
course I'm talking to using here. You could just continue to build up at non BGs. Build up hand. Seems reasonable. Let's go up to the 14 and then stop there. Okay. Activation disparity is pretty nice, but he did just pull a Twix at the end of the turn. mobile site that I can't really hmm interesting okay so I can't image that right is image the same as yeah also planet sites okay I should probably pull secret plans I always forget to pull secret plans again really bad. Okay. So. Luke is here. Try to battle Luke. Or I can try to race Luke. I can't really do anything about this train otherwise. Unless I can get resistance out. Not going to be easy. It's going to be like a drain of four. I could try to maintain resistance. This seems bad. Or I could try to fight him. Also seems not that great. I can't. If I'm fighting him, I'm just committing to like a slugfest with hit go. That seems pretty bad for me. I mean, let's see. If I were to try to four, really not that seven, ten. Mm. I could kill blue. Guess all leaders. Leader, leader, leader. Not a leader. Hmm. This is tough. It's a tough decision. I don't really want to deploy the docking bay here. But I don't want to draw zero either, so I just activate. Let's 
see at all. Wanna? Okay. Basically, all Imperials and High Destinies. I don't know what the correct play is, but I think I'm going to try to attack Luke. Six back, I think. Uh, let's just go ahead and use pile. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Thing is, I can't Stormtrooper Garrison and Callus and Tarkin. I think I'd rather Callus and save Tarkin. Ooh. They can do it all. Yeah, let's try this. So to use everything. Means the garrison does die. But I just forfeit the garrison anyway, right? Or maybe not. Let's save Tarkin. He has all the game ticks, he's immune to attrition, but it shouldn't really matter. Let's see if the power differential can do much for him. He can swing at the garrison or Poultrydom. Goes after Poultrydom. Arkin would not have protected that. Destiny 2 or 3 or something like Subtract three from this. Hopefully, we can just get away with losing. I kind of want to keep the garrison alive. And I could lose Callus, probably, is 
Why? Like, Alice, I have in hand would like to kind of poison. I think I'm not super vulnerable to getting attacked if I do. Do I just redraw a three? I think so. It's an ISB agent that I don't have in my hand already, also. I think I'd rather have had Corporal Vandalay, but you never know. Six battle destiny, okay. Let's see what the attrition destiny is. Might have to lose two characters here. Five. Just subtract three from attrition. So it's eight attrition. So I don't have any forfeit bonuses, so draw from a reserve deck. I just lose Ozel and Callus, I think. It does have the good jigs. So. Okay. Revol, get the full them back. One for upkeep. Oops. This is fine. I was thinking about drawing a card, but it's fine actually. Okay, so now let's see what happens. Very committed to Death Star 2 here. So, Alright, so it is the Jedi Presence version. Interesting. Okay. Wonder if there's no space at all. I think I didn't see any space just now. Should a presence makes me think maybe it's round focused only? That might be the move for next turn. Eli Vanto Throng. Maybe. Oh, he continues. Okay. So that was that was the other possibility. That he continues to fight over Death Star 2. Okay, so this was kind of what I was worried about. Like he's able to just like kill a bunch of my guys and I can't kill a bunch of his, am I going to lose that? Let's find out. I do have more that I can go back with. I do get two Destiny here. Probably not able to kill both of these though. Uh, probably just like Obi dies or something. Then I mean I have more. It's still not awful. But the problem is he's like he's definitely trading like one card for two basically. And activation is basically equal here. Well the thing is it definitely does cost him more force. Me is he gonna just uh, he battles? Yeah, I'm okay. About to say if he doesn't battle, that's kind of good for me. Yeah, he battles here. Hits two guys, draws two destiny. Could be rough. Tarl's gonna die, so I can't. Although actually, Tarl can. So I can cancel the game text of whoever doesn't 
swing out, right? Unless it's got sorry about the mess. No, so I can cancel OBS game text, so only one swing. Ooh, he's got four destiny coming, okay. I'm just into chicken, so I'm. I think I'm getting cleared here. Okay. Yep. That's that's another bad thing for me. Mm. All right. So maybe I have to ignore this site now. That's definitely setting me back quite a bit. But alternatively, if I was going to like other sites, I don't know if anything would be better for me. Hope to draw above a six here. Um, I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, this one I'm gonna redraw. Want to draw four or higher here? Uh, that's not lucky. So he just has to lose Han. If he had to lose Luke, that would be pretty nice for me. Stacking a card. Um, I could stack Evax. I think I just stack Evax. He only has two cards in hand, is the good news. This is 28 attrition, is that what this is? 28 attrition. Let's see. 6, 11, 15, 20. Okay, so it's not even a question, I just have to lose everything. Alright, so now I do want to hit the spaceport docking bay. Let's see if I can get it. Good. I think I'm going to go to Fondor after all. And I'm just... Alright, this R2 is now... Maybe I could fight for it. Let's uh
guess if I didn't play Thrawn, I could have flipped here. I probably should have. On that. Yeah, no, it's too late. I just used it to kind of full treat him. But yeah, I should have played Callus instead. Yeah, now flipping is actually kind of bad here. Not threatening much damage at all, but he's only got three cards in hand. I was wondering if I should ever be greedy. Like, keep on these docking bays so as to get two more activations, but let's not do that. Let's hold it like this. Okay, so I'm hoping for kind of a turn off here, where he just needs to refill his hand. I think that's kind of a reasonable expectation. Let's see. It seems eh, maybe that's true in neighboring or pull up the very free. Okay, so there is actually space in the deck. Wait, what am I talking about? Nabron. It's an interior site. And I have IAO. What in the world? Oh, is there some like. You can move Luke with something, right? And how do you do this? Doesn't spark. Okay, that's how that works. Okay. Yeah, let's see what we've got here. Dark collaboration would be good to have it. Three. Actually.
Harkins bounty here. So I was hoping it was kind of unrealistic, but if Force Push was this card that I activated, that would be actually really nice for me. Could exclude Luke, be down on Hera. Let's just grab another Dark Cooperation. Seems like I'm going to want to have one, I suppose. Last want like more ISB agents. Three. Well, let's do that. Because there's no guarantee that I actually draw into it here. Just go with everyone here. Okay, got the other dark collaboration. So I draw three destiny, no redraws. Flash of Sabres on Cure Kanos. Interesting. So the other card in hand is maybe sorry about the mess. And I still battle. I still have the three ISB leaders. Okay. So I don't cancel Destiny anymore. Harkins hit, get the two Destiny and the Destiny to power. But probably I have to lose the other two ISP leaders. The second Dark Collaboration is looking really bad actually at the moment. It also has one card. I should clear the site. I've got Force Push and something else. Oh, Emperor. Okay, so yeah, all my Destinies are good. Wait, what? He concedes? Was he behind? I guess. I mean, I'm getting free drains. I'd probably lose these. 
With one card in hand, I can maybe afford to move over here, so I'm getting one, two, and two. He's draining two. He finds his cards. My hand is awful. My hand does nothing. Two Vanes are already on table. Gick. Furry Fury, which is like literally irrelevant. Dark Cloud Vibration, I don't have any. Like, my, card, my hand might as well be empty. I don't know. But it wasn't... Uh, I mean, I, I no, I mean, I, I shouldn't exaggerate. I think I definitely am ahead on board with this, killing those two. I don't know how ahead. Maybe it's hard for Hickler to come back from. Oh. All right. Well, anyway, that's that game. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. I've got one more game to go.